You know, these modern electronics are a quantum leap of the electronics of yesteryear. And what Hummingbird has is this feature called chirp in them. And what chirp does is, well, it's kind of complicated. So let me break it down into layman's terms so you can understand why it's so important for deep water fishing. No question, electronics speed up the fish finding process. State-of-the-art high-definition Lake Master maps are priceless tools to refine the search process. Today, the best spots we have found are large points leading offshore and sunken islands that dump into the deep basin. The fish are on hard to soft bottom transition areas in 27 to 30 feet of water. By selecting the depth highlight range using the depth highlight feature, we can identify all the key areas to fish. All these key spots are literally highlighted on the map. Once we get to these areas, we rely on our sonar to find where the fish are. And one of the new buzzwords in sonar is chirp, or compressed high intensity radar pulse. So you may ask, how will this help me catch more fish? So here's the Twitter on Chirp. Traditional sonar sends a single sonar pulse to display an image. Chirp sends a continuous range of sonar frequencies from low to high. In a nutshell, the amount of data a Chirp sonar fish finder interprets and displays is far more than a single frequency traditional sonar. Here are some key benefits we've seen using Chirp. Number one, the display provides more detail, a clear picture of the water column, and better definition of schools of bait fish and game fish. Number two, chirp has incredible target separation and reveals bottom hugging fish like we're fishing today over soft mud bottom. Number three, chirp shines for vertical fishing presentations like drop shotting. The bait, sinker, and fish are easy to see. So to answer the second part of the question, yes, chirp can help you catch more fish. Simply okay. put, better information, or in other words, better sonar readout, makes fish finding easier. Man, there's a school and a half on this break here. We've got for about, looks to me, about a hundred yards, hundred yards of walleyes. A lot, biggest school we've been on today. I'm slip drifting back, I'm, I'm fishing up, then we're slip drifting back. I'm fishing up, we're slip drifting back, and there's fish on this whole break from 27 to about 32. Big pot of them. Perfect. Boy, that's Whoa. a big one. Easy, mama. Look at that. These big gals are out on structure. 